Hey guys, this is uh, video number 11 of the series, um, <clears throat> and we're going to talk about um, a comparison. There are several different comparisons out there. You can find them right up here. Um, there's limits, uh, not equal to, equal to, uh, greater than or equal to, just uh, several of them up there. You kind of have to decide which one you need and what you're trying to do. Uh, and we don't really have to see these actually work uh, because uh, we're just going to explain them to you. So you remember earlier we did some moving of information into specific integers. In this case, uh, when the latch came on, it would move an 11 uh, into integer A, from our source to our destination. Um, if it wasn't on, it would move a 6 into there, right? Okay. And then down here, we did some fills. We filled information into integers. We put a value of 100 uh, starting at the B integer 0 for a length of 20. And then we put a value of 0 into the B integer 10 for a length of 10. Uh, then we copied the B integer, integer, number 5, to the C integer, starting at number 5, for a length of 10. So that's what we did earlier. Now, when you get to a comparison, a comparison is an input type instruction. It means it's on the left side here, and it's inputting information. Uh, and these are very, very simple. We're just going to talk about a couple of them. So what this one is, is an equals, and it is trying to see if source A is equal to source B. And obviously this is what it's looking at. So is source A, which is A integer, it currently has the value of 6 in it, equal to B integer zero. Remember this zero is because we made 20 of those. The A integer is just a single dent. This one is 20 dents long. So we have to pick a specific dent. And in this case, we're picking zero. So is A integer equal to the B integer zero? Well, the value in A is six and the value in B integer zero is 100. So they are not equal to each other. This would not come on. Therefore, it would not turn on this output. Now, this is an LEQ. This is a less than or equal to. Doing the same thing. Source A less than or equal to source B. And we'll see what it says. Source A is looking at the A integer. Is it less than or equal to source B integer 0. Well, uh, A integer has the value of 6. B integer 0 has the value of 100. So yes, it is less than or equal to the B integer, which would turn on the output. This is a greater than or equal to, a GEQ. Greater than or equal to, it's telling you right here, and it's showing you the equation in these. Is source B greater than or equal to, uh, I'm sorry, source A greater than or equal to source B? And in this case, they're comparing B integer number 5 to C integer number 5. Uh, and both of those have the value of 100. So it is equal to. And in that case, it would turn on the output. Now, again, there's several different types of uh, these. And you will just have to decide, you know, which one you're looking for um, to work in your application. But that's the basics of a comparison. Now, we're going to do a separate video on a limit. Uh, limit works a little bit different. So my next video, uh, number 12 will be specifically on the limit. And we will make that one so you actually see it working. 
uh, because that can change quite a bit. These here, we didn't really need to see them work because all it's doing is comparing information in two different uh, registers. Uh, so that is the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, remember, go up here to the help section um, and look up what you need to find. All right, guys. See you in the next video.